on this Friday night. Bay right at the playoff line. Portland trying to strive into the top four. It's the Thorns taking on Bay FC, and it's on Prime. Dorian Bailey corner. Ball clipped along. Feltor Oshwala comes high to Didasco. Milanson hangs it up over Bodie. Backside Bailey. He lifted and headed in. Oh, wow. Abby Dolkemper makes an immediate statement in a big hit. What a start for Bay FC on the road. Well, well way to keep this alive. Well done, Abby Dolkemper. First start for Bay FC. It was interesting because it looked like Bailey. Actually, it looked like it was going in in the initial play. We'll have to have a look here. Now, Abby Dolkamba, it's her goal all day long. Great willingness, way to keep it alive, and puts it in on that far post. 1-0 Bay FC, and I think they deserve that. I think in these opening minutes, they've had a lot of pressure down this right-hand side. Caprice didasco has got down there, Tess Bodie's got down there, and fair play to Abby Dolkamba. She said how happy she was to be part of this franchise and this organization. She feels like she's finally home, and then she gets her goal in her first. What a moment for Dahlkemper, third pick in what's now a defunct mechanism, the NWSL draft back in 2015. Drops in, Spanstra arrives, enters into the area, Spanstra pulls back, Smith, high for coffee, simple for Roland. And I think it's been a really good addition to this Portland Thorns team. Bella Bixby out on maternity. Shelby Hogan, eight clean sheets, all comps. Be on the bench for the moment. Kundanachi breaks through, rips it over across. Hill is there. Hill has scored. Bay doubles their money. 18 minutes in, and this will drop your jaw. What a goal, what a run from Kundanji. I've been quite critical of the fact that Kundanji hasn't scored anywhere near as many goals as she should have, but she's caused so many problems down this left-hand side. And I said it before, Mike, look at her, when she, went, when she gets going, but it's about the quality of the ball. Puts it on a plate for Rachel Hill. And Rachel Hill isn't known for her goal scoring, she's known for her work rate. She'll do anything for this coach. Any coach she plays for, she'll run through a brick wall. But look at this play from Kundanji. Fantastic ball in, and Rachel, it's a gift. Reina Reyes has no chance at that back post, and I did not see this one coming at all. Hills first for Bay FC. To be reckoned with. Ball long down the field. There's Oshawala. Lines up, Hubley plays early. Flick didn't go. Booty! Knocked down by Arnold. And kept off the line, out for a throw. Smith. Spins free of Bailey. Smith! Smith! Roland denies the returning Olympic gold medalist. Game changer. Anka Trainberg has been the best goalkeeper in the league. She came into this league seamlessly over from Chelsea, and she's been a great addition to the Gotham FC team. Hardly the only change Portland made during this window as well. Take a look at a couple of the uh, players out. This trouble taken away by Smith. Smith puts it in. A solo mission to bring Portland back. An early golden moment for the gold medalist. Two goals to one. Caitlin Rowland knows you cannot keep the ball like that. We spoke about goalkeepers sweating on the ball a lot, having to play out moments ago. I spoke about how important the goalkeepers are in this league, being able to almost become that second centre, second or third centre back. See here, everything's calm. Caitlin Merlin takes one touch, tries to play it out. Abby Dolkamba goes back, and then it's just that. It's poor in the end, and you cannot give any player in this league that type of ball, let alone Sophia Smith. And this changes everything now. I said if they went to three or four, then it would be game over. But that type of gift, Sophia Smith still has a lot to do. Caitlin Merlin tries to recover. A good composure from Sophia Smith, and it's 2-1. That's as easy as it gets. For Sophia Smith, goal number 11 of the season. A goal moments ago. Sophia Smith right at Roland. Pierced through the wall, and Roland.
didn't flinch. As best friends, it's a fantastic story. Played through, Smith. Smith is there! Smith has a stop across Spanstra! Oh, that duo together again! Sweet as ever! 2-2! Watch Smith, upper left of your screen. I think that's very, very tight. Melanson. Got there on the other end. Sagita cleaned her off. Ball to the backside. Excellent save, Arnold. Turns away Kumbanaji, and then it slid out over the end line. And had any type of structure when she was 17. That's so late. So having to coach her, I think she's a joy to watch. She has speed. Revelatory for Houston last year. Regrettably, not nearly enough revelatory moments for the Dash this season. That's a story for another time. Portland flying to the top of the 18. And last hit frame sent away by Roland. Alexa Spanstra trying to make the right impression on this Portland crowd. Because you ultimately want to fit everybody in. But it's about chemistry and it's about the dynamic. And I spoke about that three in the midfield. You know, it just doesn't work. Hill leads it along, a shot across, and in! There's the third for Bay! What a night for Bay FC in Portland! Joelle Anderson comes into this game, backs her third of the season for Bay FC. And this is a shocker. Talk about instant impact. Impact is a really poor giveaway from Hubley. I think she's done a relatively good job on Oshawala in this game. She's been quite quiet. You see one touch out of Anderson's feet. Could Mackenzie Arnold maybe have done a bit better? I think Tess Bode does really well here to play Rachel Hill. Anderson sees that window of opportunity. No, Mackenzie Arnold has no chance. And I did say the Portland Thorns were still giving opportunities to Bay FC. It's about if they took them. Anderson's come into this game and had an instant impact. What did I say? She was a revelation. It's a really good strike. A really good strike with a left. Bay stands tall one last time. It's the biggest win of their expansion season. Abby Dahl Kemper, a goal in her debut. Roland and Bay respond to adversity again tonight.